This is the Royal Clutch RK84, a 75% mechanical keyboard. For the uninitiated, 75% keyboards have 84 keys and is a more compact form factor than the 10 keyless version without losing any functionality. The RK84 was launched in the mid of 2021 and after using it daily as my main for almost one year, it's very difficult for me to move to any other keyboard. In this video, I will review the RK84 and explain why it's one of the best ever. Let me start with the unboxing. It has a pretty cool packaging. It comes with a keyboard of course. The one I have is with the RK blue switches. Then it has the user manual, USB-C cable, 2.4 GHz USB dongle, switch puller and keycap puller. It also has these two magnetic feet for height adjustments if required. On my first impression, the build quality is very good for the price you're paying. It feels heavy and robust even though it's all plastic. There's no flex at all and there's no squeaking noise. And also the keys do not rattle or wobble when shaken. The top side of the keyboard looks minimalistic and has no big bezels. It has Royal Clutch branding on the lower side but I don't care because it's anyways covered with my wrist rest. Also this trim is removable to give it a different look if required. This also means that you can paint and customize the trim to give your own personal touch to the keyboard. On the top side you have two USB pass through ports along with the USB-C port. At the bottom you have the four rubber feet to prevent slippage, the on off switch and another switch to toggle between wireless USB and Bluetooth. And yes, this keyboard can work in three different connectivity modes Bluetooth, USB wireless dongle and wide mode and I'll talk more about it later. Being a 75% keyboard it's much smaller than full-size keyboards and to put things in perspective you can have a look side by side. I think this size is great for people who don't really need the number pad and want to go smaller than the TKL without losing any functionality. Smaller keyboards can aesthetically make your setup look cleaner and also will give you more space to move your mouse around which is very helpful if you're gaming or using the mouse at very low DPS settings. The base of the RK84 keyboard has a natural incline with 1.75 inch height and it comes with two magnetic feet that just snap over the existing feet to add 0.375 inches of height. One problem here is that there's no storage space for the feet so don't lose them. There is no wrist rest in the package so you'll have to purchase it separately and you'll find many options online. I highly recommend you to get one for comfortable usage. When it comes to connectivity, this is where the RK84 shines. It can work in three different modes. For the wired mode, you have a Type-C port and you can either use the wire in the package or any other custom cable like myself which I use to connect to my PC. This helps to keep my keyboard charged at all times. Also since it is wired, I expect to get minimal latency. Next it has Bluetooth mode which I use for other devices such as laptop and iPad. You can connect up to three devices and switching between them is very easy with the help of function plus Q, W, E keys. More than 60% of my usage is on Bluetooth and I've never faced any issues. The third connectivity method is wireless using the included 2.4 GHz USB dongle. The only issue with this is that the range is short. For me it has not been a problem as my USB port is very nearby just beneath my tabletop. However since Bluetooth is so stable I rarely use it in this mode. The input lag on RK84 is pretty low and I measured this using the online tool from this website. I was surprised to see that the minimum input lag with Bluetooth was as good as the wired mode. Here's a small comparison with two other keyboards I tested using this tool on the same system. When it comes to battery life, the RK84 has a big battery sitting at 3750mAh. With this huge battery, you will survive a long time. Royal Clutch rates the battery life at 200 hours in wireless USB mode with the backlight off and a full charge takes 6-7 to seven hours. In Bluetooth mode, the battery life would be less but in my use, I've never dropped the battery to zero mainly because I charge it frequently whenever I switch to the wired mode to use it on my personal PC. There is no battery level indicator and you only get a blinking light on the spacebar when the RK84 is at low charge. For me, that is fine because I rarely run out of battery. In terms of compatibility, it does work with macOS, Windows, Android and iOS operating systems. I can also confirm that this keyboard has N-key rollover feature when used in wired mode and with wireless USB dongle. Whereas in Bluetooth mode, it drops down to 6-key rollover. Being a 75% keyboard, the RK84 has an F-key row at the top but no number pad or media keys. It does have 12 virtual media keys which you can access using the function plus F command keys. The function key also accesses the additional features of the keyboard such as adjusting brightness, animation speeds, RGB backlight modes and colors. In static mode, it has 5 levels of brightness. I felt the brightness was decent enough, not too bright and not too low. 
Speaking of RGB, each key switch on the RK84 has individually addressable RGB LEDs, which shine brightly through the keycap legends. Here are some different RGB modes on this keyboard. The best thing about this keyboard is that it is hot swappable which means you can modify your keyboard with any compatible 3 pin or 5 pin switches from the market. To remove the key switches you can use the included switch puller. Removal of key switches is very easy taking less than 5 seconds per switch if done properly. By default you can get the keyboard with options of royal clutch brown, red and blue switches. The one I have here are with their own RK blue switches and they feel very similar to Gateron or cherry blue switches. The default RK84 keycaps are made of double shot ABS plastic, so the keycap legends are as long lasting as front printed keycaps. The only downside to being ABS plastic is that the keycaps develop a shine to them quicker than with the PBT plastic keycaps. Now let's talk about the pricing. In terms of purchase options, there are three types available. First one is the RK84 RGB version which is the one we saw in this video. The choice is between black and white colors and three different types of switches as per your preference. The second variant of this keyboard is the RK84 Pro. This is a more premium and upgraded version with metallic body but without the USB pass-throughs. This is slightly expensive and comes only in white color with a choice of three key switches. The third and last variant is the blue black lit version which comes in around 70 US dollars. The choice is between black and white colors and three different types of switches as per your preference. So when it comes to software, it's not a robust application as a Logitech G Hub or Razer Chroma, but it's very functional. There are three things you need to know. First, you need to download the software that is compatible for your keyboard model. For instance, the RK84 Blue Blacklight version will not work on the RGB keyboard. Second, there are two different versions depending on the serial number of your keyboard. The instructions come with the software file so you don't have to worry about that. And the third thing is that the software does not start if the cable is not plugged in. After installing the software, the first option on the menu is for customizing profiles. You can have up to three different profiles you can save. Sadly, there is no shortcut cut on keyboard to switch between profiles. The next is for setting up macros. Then you can toggle between different RGB modes, customize brightness, animation speed, etc. One thing I noticed is that the software does not show the demo to you on screen but instead applies on the keyboard in real time. The next one is for saving any custom light modes as per your liking. And then a settings menu for performing resets, firmware and software updates. In conclusion, there are three main reasons I love this keyboard. The first is connectivity, the second is hot swappable feature and the third is the amazing build quality. All this comes in a very good and affordable price. It makes the overall experience of using multiple devices so much fun and convenient. The only one drawback which I would really highlight is the placement of switch on the bottom of the keyboard for changing connectivity modes. It's so inconvenient to lift the keyboard each time to toggle between devices. If they managed to have these switches somewhere on the side, that would be a great upgrade in my opinion. However, it looks like this keyboard will remain with me for a long time. That's it for now. If you like this video, please hit the like button and if you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. Goodbye.